That is not Gigi Moresco. That's my daughter. Follow her up? God, what, have you been drinking beer all day? What's the matter with you? Oh, uh, I'm so embarrassed. When you walked in, I could have sworn that I feel like a total jerk. Yeah, I hope so. Are you sure as hell aren't Gigi here? She sure as hell is not now. This lovely young woman is my daughter, Adriana Kramer. Nice to meet you. Adriana? Yeah, you too. I assume that my mother and Layla told you the news? Oh, uh, yes, we did. But apparently it did not have a sobering effect on him. Did you expect me to cry, ma'am? I did not expect you to attack my daughter. All right, okay, it's fine. You know, he just thought that I was his long-lost love, right? Mm. Who is going to be so very thrilled to find out that you're alive and well? Yeah, she's just going to faint with joy. Mm-hmm. So we got to get you back to land, you Brody. Reunite you with Gigi and your son. Forget it. I'm not going anywhere. I don't get it. Why don't you want to be with Gigi and your son? I'm just not interested. I've already told Adriana how you thought for ten years that Gigi had run off with another man because your mother deliberately lied to you. Yeah, so? So, now that you know the truth, there's nothing stopping you from being with Gigi and your child. Except maybe they're better off without me. Oh, what? No. No, that is not true at all. Right, Layla? Mm-hmm. Uh, that woman, she worships you. And she hasn't been with another man in all that time. She hasn't? No. And she's struggling. Just to make enough money to support herself and Shane. I'm no good for them. This is a big waste of time. Wait, okay? I want to show you something. Your son made this. It's about his father, the superhero. So the kid thinks I'm a superhero, huh? Of course he does. Why wouldn't he fought in the war? The bodies I left behind. And the ones who came back. Who couldn't walk, or see, or even get out of bed. Those were the heroes. I just made it through. Stop. I'm sure you're being much too modest. Who are you to tell me that? You don't know a damn thing about me. Except that you loved Gigi, who is such a good friend. Do you think we would come all this way if she wasn't? She's so sweet, and she's had a tough life. That's why we had this idea that we could help her by finding you. She still look good. What? It's been ten years. And did she get fat or anything? Oh yeah, that's right. We just get fat and disgusting, while men they just get more handsome, right? Oh, I'm sure she's just curious. I'm happy to report that Gigi is a. Stunning young woman. She always was a looker. Like you. <laughs> and you. <laughs> and you too. Gee, thanks. Hey, I have one more question. Go for it. If Gigi needs me as much as you say she does, why isn't she here herself? She doesn't know that we're here. She still thinks you're dead. So why are you all here again? Well, when Lil Shane did his comic book about his dad, the war hero, the superhero, sorry. Anyway, we wanted to do something for him. He's such a great kid. So we thought we'd look up your family and ask them if they would allow Gigi to legally prove that you're Shane's father. That way he would get the benefits that he's entitled to as a veteran son. Imagine our surprise when we found out you were still alive. Shane, is he sick or something? Asthma. Gigi has to work day and night just to be able to pay for his treatment. Wow. And with her new job, you know, we don't know how long it's going to last. It's her whole life is uncertain. She needs some backup. And you know, we aren't going to tell her that we found you unless you're going back to her. We're talking.
talking about your son and the woman that you loved. Look, Gigi's had it tough, and it's not fair that she has to take care of herself and Shane all on her own. So come to Landview with us. Go see Gigi. Tell her she's not alone anymore. Think about it, Brody. Think about the look on Gigi's face when her hero comes walking through the door. She wouldn't be a little suspicious that I just, out of the blue, track her down after all these years? I've already thought about how you're going to explain that. Gigi and Shane were living in Paris, Texas. And a few months ago, there was an incident there. It was in papers all over the country. Gigi and Shane's names were mentioned several times. You could have seen the names in the newspaper, tracked them down to Texas, and then on to Landview, Pennsylvania. Oh, that makes sense to me. And if you do decide to go to Landview, I promise you I will take care of all of your financial needs until you're on your feet. You're offering me money? Well, all of your money. You, Chi-Chi, and dear little Shane. There is a limo outside and a private gym. Waiting to take us back to land you. Limo. Private jet. With champagne on board. And you? And Layla, too. What the hell? <sighs> oh, wow, you guys. It was just a bit of a squeeze. Don't worry. By the time I'm done cleaning him up, he'll be every bit the hero that Shane says he is. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Rex? Hi, honey. Where are you? I uh, still be. Really? How's Gigi? Okay. I guess. Where are you at? I'll pick you up for dinner. I ended up having to fly out and meet Layla. That business deal was a little bit more complicated than we thought it was. I should be back in a few hours. Everything under control? Oh, yeah. The deal is signed, sealed, and soon to be delivered.